Hey guys, welcome to today's video and welcome on into my beauty stash. I have a new foundation to try out for you guys today and this comes to us from Bare Minerals. They just dropped their Bare Pro 24 hour wear skin perfecting matte liquid foundation. This comes in 39 different shades. It retails for $44 and I picked up mine online from Ulta Beauty. The shade that I got in this one is shade Fair 15 Warm and I will compare this in the application portion of the video to another fairly new or it's a reformulated uh, version of another liquid foundation that Bare Minerals has. So let's go over some of the call outs about this new foundation. It is formulated with a mineral sunscreen so SPF 20 on this one. Um, it says that it's a uh, vegan cruelty free. It's going to provide full coverage with undetectable wear and it's going to be ultra comfortable. Now some of the key ingredients of this new Bare Minerals foundation are that it's formulated with upcycled pomegranate peel extract. That is going to help brighten the complexion of course over time which is what a lot of these foundations um, that have skincare built into them they say as you wear it over time your skin is going to look better. You guys know how I feel about that. I don't mind that there's skincare ingredients in foundation but our skincare results are going to come from our actual skincare regimen. It also says it's formulated with D-Free Complex, which is a clean silicone complex that mimics and the feel and performance of cyclic silicones. It's also a flexible, breathable film former that aids in skin adhesion and long wear. And then it also has Mineral Lock Long Wear Technology, which is a blend of plant-based powders and lipids that helps makeup adhere to the skin for long lasting wear. Lots of claims on this one. Uh, you do get one fluid ounce of product in here. I am, just for reference, in case it's your first time here, I am 41 years old with normal to oily skin, oily primarily in the T-zone. I love a good medium to full coverage foundation and you know, I'm just here to try it all. I'm a certified foundation junkie. I'm going to try it so you guys don't have to. And of course, this is going to be a two-day, 10-hour wear test. Day one, I don't wear this with any helping products, no primer, no powder, no setting spray. And then day two, which is actually today, I'm wearing it with uh, the other helping products, products that I would normally use um, when I'm applying my makeup, such as setting powder and primer, setting spray, the works. You guys will see all of that in today's video. If it is your first time here on my channel, I just want to say hello and welcome to all of you. My name is Steph certified foundation junkie, but I love trying out new makeup. I am primarily a new makeup review channel, but I do multiple looks with eyeshadow palettes, makeup ranking videos, all that good stuff. If that sounds great to you, I want to invite you to become part of our makeup family. Do me a favor, click on that subscribe button and hit the bell next to it. That way you can be notified every time I do drop a new video. And if you're a fan of foundations and maybe you're a big time fan of bare minerals, please give this video a thumbs up before you go. I will have everything that I'm wearing in this video linked and listed in the description box. Some of those links might be affiliate links. So if you do end up shopping, thank you so, so much for supporting me and my channel. Let's get this wear test started. I forgot to mention one thing. Guys, I am also going to be wear testing these little NYX concealers. These are rather new to Ulta. I got the pink corrector and I got the concealer in the shade Alabaster. So you guys will see this wear test alongside this foundation wear test. If you guys want to see how these new goodies are going to perform, keep on watching. All right, guys, so let's get started. Again, on day one, I don't wear this with any helping products, no primer, no powder, no setting spray. I will be doing the rest of my makeup for like a complete makeup look, but rest assured, I will not have any of those products. So I want to do a swatch test. This is the um, Bare Minerals Original Pure Serum Foundation. This one was reformulated last year, and this one I have in the shade Fair Warm 1, um, and then the other one, the new one, the matte version, I have in shade uh, Fair 15 Warm. So I'm hoping they're going to be very close. This is a very liquidy consistency, the, um, the one from last year. So I'm just going to swipe it there. Okay, this one is definitely going to provide more of like a natural to glowy finish. And then this one, of course, the one we're testing out today is going to be a uh, matte finish. 
I do feel like the first one, the one I just watched, you can get to like maybe a good bordering on the lighter side of full coverage. So I do like it. Oh, okay. I think both of those shades. Oh yeah. They're like spot on. There you go. So here is the original uh, Pure Serum Foundation in shade Fair Warm 1. And then here is the new matte foundation in the shade Fair 15 Warm. And you can definitely see that warm kind of yellowish undertone. I think they're going to work out perfect. Just wipe that. Now that we've done the swatch comparison, let's go ahead and start applying the foundation. I'll do one side with the brush and then one side with my damp beauty sponge. And I'm gonna use my BK Beauty 101 to start applying. Now I also have a new NYX concealer and corrector, which you know what, I should have probably done first. I'm gonna be careful, see like I'm leaving the space free so that way I can use the um, corrector and concealer there. NYX the other day, and I don't know how I missed this that I didn't do like a wear test, but we'll do it today. Um, they dropped some new concealers and correctors. I saw them in store at Ulta like right before the holidays or right before Christmas, but I didn't uh, pick, them up, pick it up then. I waited till this round where I placed an order and just ordered them online. I always love trying new NYX makeup. They're one of my favorites at the drugstore. And I'm loving that Bare Minerals is kind of doing something a little bit different since all they typically have are powder-based products. I like that they're now incorporating liquid products. So I think it's going on nice with the brush. I prefer a brush now. I used to just be a sponge girl, but now I do um, I do like a brush, in particular this one. I feel like I get the most coverage out of the foundation with it, right? So I think the shade is pretty good. Maybe a smidge, a smidge dark, but that's okay. I don't mind that at all. Let me get my damp beauty sponge and let's start bouncing over here. So I'm done with everything that I pumped out. So I'm gonna need to get a little bit more. I'm not smelling any fragrance or anything with this foundation. And it does look like it is becoming full coverage as I continue to apply. Again, trying to stay clear of this under eye area. So yeah, I think definitely using the sponge you're just gonna absorb more product so it'll sheer out some and if that's what you want then great go for it i just like to use the sponge towards the end just to press everything in in case there were any brush stroke but there we go here is with the sponge and here is with the brush i have a little bit what i'm going to do is take this and just build up right in here on my cheeks. This is always where I like the added bit of coverage, take up excess to the forehead. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so I definitely think it's looking nice. It's melting into the skin. Let me go ahead and add the concealer before we wrap up this application portion of the video. So, Let's see, I can grab them here. So these are the two new NYX concealers that I picked up. Here is the concealer and here is the corrector. The corrector is in the shade, I believe it's just peach, unless, yeah, no, pink, sorry, point to pink. And then the concealer I have is in the shade 03 Alabaster. So let's go in with the pink corrector first. This will help to neutralize any darkness, which I just have a little bit under my eye area. And I'm gonna use my finger just to tap that, press that in. I don't remember the coverage that we're getting with these concealers, does it say it on the packaging? They're called Pro Fix Stick concealer somehow i have a feeling it's going to be more along the lines of a medium coverage but i could be wrong 
wow, that looks good. And I didn't even, I haven't even used the concealer yet. And everything looks pretty concealed under there. So I guess I'm not going to have to use too much of this one. Just going to use my finger. I will wear setting powder with this, but you know what? I'll do one eye with and one eye without. I'll do this eye right here, the right one. This concealer feels good. It feels really creamy, and it feels like it's really doing a nice job of just melting into that under eye area. I'm really happy with the coverage that I have. The foundation feels good. Still feels a little bit tacky. I'm excited for this one because it says it's going to be good for all skin types, full coverage, matte uh, finish all day long. So um, I am a normal to oily skin type. I usually have to do like a little touch up during lunch, but I don't do that when I'm doing my wear test. So I'll do my check in during my lunch break and then we'll see how this is wearing, how the concealer is doing. Let me add a little bit of Cody Airspun to this under eye area before I let you guys go. That way you can see me apply it. So this is the only place it's going to have powder, other than the powder bronzer and blush that I'm wearing today, because I'm trying out some new Ulta collection makeup today. There we have it. Okay, guys, so testing two things out today, one drugstore, one high-end product. I'll be back during my lunch break. I'll let you guys see how the makeup is wearing, and of course, at the end of the day, I will wrap up this day one wear test, trying out the new Bare Minerals Pro 24 hour skin perfecting matte liquid foundation. Stay tuned. So here we are five hours later. I think it's looking okay, a little makeup-y around my mouth. Ironically, the concealer, I like it on the side that's unset versus the side that is set, but it's still not a fave. A few more hours to go. I'll check in with y'all later. Okay, guys, so it's been 10 hours. This is how the makeup is looking without any touch-ups. This is the eye without setting powder, and this is the eye with setting powder. I still like the unset eye better than I like the set eye, but I'm not too crazy about either one foundation. It's so makeup-y all in through here. I don't like how it looks. And as I mentioned earlier, it started to look like this just a few hours in. I'm hoping that tomorrow when I pair it with primer, powder, setting spray, all of the good stuff, that it's going to look better. I do think it did a really good job at controlling oil though. So normally at 10 hours without a touch-up, depending on what foundation it is, like my nose is going to be an oil slick, but it's actually not bad. It's not bad. It's doing a good job at controlling oil, but it's looking really makeup-y in through here. So I will check in with you guys in the morning and we'll see if day two is gonna be any better than day one. Hey guys, good morning. So this is day two of us trying out this new Bare Minerals Matte Liquid Foundation. This is what the skin is looking like. I'm wearing one of the new e.l.f. Camo Liquid Blushes. Um, let me tell you, okay, let me tell you. When I applied this, I applied it on top of the e.l.f. Niacinamide Power Grip Primer. And that's one of my favorite primers. So I let it sit for like a minute before I put the foundation on. And so as I was applying, I was alternating between a sponge and a brush. And I just, I feel like this is going to definitely need a minute to melt into the complexion. But I'm still not fully sold on it, like in this area all through here. And this was like my problem area yesterday. So we'll see if the helping products are going to make a difference. Applying it, I wasn't liking it. The concealer gave me some trouble today as well. I thought, you know what, I'm not going to do the corrector. I'm just going to do the concealer. And I don't feel like I got the coverage that I was looking for. So I added a little bit of the pink concealer on top of it. Um, did it the opposite way today. So we'll see um, how this holds up. I'm using the pink Danessa Myricks setting powder. That is one of my favorites. Uh, and I'm also using the One Size On Till Dawn setting spray Milani lip stain. I'll have all of those details in the description box. But, you know, I'm hoping I haven't put highlighter on. Do I even need highlighter? I don't know. We'll see. But um, I'm hoping today goes better, but uh, I don't know. Going by just how it applied a few minutes ago, I 
my expectations are a little low, but we'll see. I'll check with you, in with you guys during my lunch break and we'll see what this face of makeup is looking like. Five hour check in here on day two. I'm not a happy camper, not really liking the way the foundation and concealer wears. I am definitely ready to go home, take off my makeup. It's just looking cakey and I'm not a fan of anything. Okay guys, we have come to the end of this two day, 10 hour wear test, trying out two new products. The NYX concealer, which is on here under my eyes and the new Bare Minerals Matte Liquid Foundation. I'm not a fan of either products. I feel like the concealer just settled into my fine lines. Um, I don't think that the concealer covers that much. I actually like the the shade of the pink corrector. I thought that was nice. I felt like it was brightening and I felt like it did provide coverage, but it's the formula for me that I'm not completely sold on just yet. Um, so I'll keep trying that NYX concealer. I've definitely tried better from them in the past. This would not rank at the top, but you know, I'll continue to try it out. Maybe I can find a way to make it work. As far as the foundation goes, I've been feeling all day like this is just sitting on top of my skin. Like it looks so cakey, like by my nose and right here on my chin, around my mouth. I'm just like, I feel icky. It feels like I need to wash my face, that type of feeling. So I, I like that I'm not incredibly shiny. Again, I don't do any touch-ups when I do these foundation concealer wear tests. Um, so for being 10 hours, like my skin looks pretty good. Oil still looks pretty controlled. Ironically, I feel like I got a little more oily today than I did yesterday. And today is when I have all the helping products on. So I don't know. It's just, it's not for me. I feel like it just kind of sits on top of the skin. It hasn't really melted into my skin throughout the day. So I'm going to just say pass on both of these. If you have them already, and they're working for you, great, fantastic. But for me, I'm giving these a thumbs down. They didn't quite work the way I was expecting them to. Let me know, guys, what you thought of this review and wear test. Are you going to be picking them up? Did you already? Sound off in the comments down below. I want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. Y'all have a great day or night, wherever it is you all are at. Stay hydrated, drink that water, and I'm going to see you all very soon. Bye.